the first interesting thing I would say is that you know several years later, uh, the Facebook data science team actually did the thing that was inconceivable to me back in the in the late 1990s that they took a billion people on Facebook and all of their friends and they just counted uh, by brute force how many steps it takes to get from uh, anyone to anyone else and, and in fact it's always less than six. Uh, so so the number is a pretty good number but it, it really the larger point I think is that is that you we have new ways of of looking at old problems now uh, just because you have this data just because you uh, have new types of instruments that allow you to measure things that you couldn't measure before you can develop entirely new approaches that would have been quite impossible uh, uh, in, in, a, in, a, in a previous era and I, I think sort of in general um, you know, advances in science or revolutions in science are often preceded by innovations in instrumentation. That you build a new kind of instrument, you invent the telescope, it allows you to sort of see into deep space for the first time, and it completely changes astronomy and then it changes cosmology and physics and so many other things. You you invent a microscope and it allows you to see uh, bacteria swarming around inside a cell and it changes biology and uh, you know, there are all kinds of flaws in this analogy, but there's some uh, element uh, of truth to it that we are, uh, you know, the internet and digital data is in some sense akin to the telescope, that we are, uh, we have built an instrument that allows us to make previously invisible things visible, and that should be useful for lots of things, and we'll talk more about all the ways in which it is an imperfect analogy and there are all kinds of problems, but there's clearly something there and it's already having a huge effect on the social sciences and will continue to do so.